as promised, ladies and gentlemen, we kick off with Mac Allen and Chris Hall. The number one contendership for the NXT title and matchup number three of the show. As it is an NXT special, I just couldn't resist posting at least most of this card because, wow, I did not expect it to snowball like this. And I'm liking how this card turned out before NXT TakeOver. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to post the cards uh, for the pay-per-views, so I'll put it down in the comments for this video. So rest assured, I will put it there. As Chris Hall and Mac Allen go back and forth, Chris Hall managed to take down Mac Allen in the chain wrestling that they are doing, as they have known each other for a very long time. Former tag team champions together in NXT, known as the New Divine, Papa Bergerana, as they were also the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic of Season 6, winning the NXT Tag Team titles, losing it to Cole Quinn and Christian which ultimately resulted in Chris Hall turning on Mac Allen. Drop kick attempt to the knee. Chris Hall had a well scouted. Scoop come Mac Allen. Mac Allen counters that with the elbows. Decided that had to get out of the fireman's carry. Got him in a headlock. As now Mac Allen got him in a dragon sleeper. Dragon sleeper submission. Trying to put him away. Trying oh so desperately to put him to sleep, but no. Chris Hall fought out of it. Stomped to the back. And now Irish whipping him into the corner. This is their second confrontation of their careers since the breakup between the two of them. As now there's a leg drop right there. Chris Hall, former NXT North American champion. Same with Mac Allen as well, though Mac Allen's case, he's a two-tie. North American champion is now. Mac Allen got to his feet and this time got the drop kick to the knee. And a drop kick to the back. And now Mac Allen about to go up the ropes. Oh, only managed to barely clip Chris Hall, who kipped up and got out of it. And now he got him with the Northern Light suplex. Sizing him up for a second one. Oh, never mind. It was a corkscrew brain buster following out of that Northern Light suplex. And now Chris Hall slowing the pace of the match down with the stops. Kicking around Mac Allen. As now Chris Hall. Grabbing the wrist, twisting and contorting it. Targeting all the ligaments of Mac Allen. It's now Chris Hall. Human cannonball right there. On the ribs, but Mac Allen got to his feet. Oh, but Chris Hall picks him up into a fireman's carry, ties up the legs. Oh! Drives him down into the canvas. Well done indeed. Cover here to put him away, to become the number one contender. But no, it was a kick out. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be in Las Vegas for NXT TakeOver 53. I'm excited, and I hope all of you are as well, as there's a forearm by Mac Allen. He's dialing it up, bouncing off the ropes. Oh, so a side dive through the bottom and middle rope. Tossing Chris Hall into the guardrail as the Phoenix of NXT rising up the ranks. Trying to get a shot at the NXT title. But no, it's dropped down there. Chris Hall, of course, 0 1 against Mac Allen. It's got to be a burning chip on his shoulder. Wants to even the odds here tonight as uh, to kick off the show. Mac Allen interrupted his challenge for the NXT title. Though I am hearing rumors and rumblings that the NXT title may be defended tonight. It'll be interesting indeed. As Ryan Trapp is in the building itching for a fight. As, ooh! Once again, Chris Hall acting like a surgeon. We're going into the corner. He's dialing it up! No way, missed the super kick! Oh! Super kick of his own by Mac Allen! Axe kick right there! Across the back of the head. What a counter by Mac Allen as these two were on fire. All oh, forearm right there by Chris Hall as he counters him. One legged cold breaker right there. Beautifully executed cover. No. Kick out for the count of one. 
Oh, and Chris All tells him to suck his you-know-what. Wow. Chris All has no, no love lost in this former ally, former comradeship, former kingship between the two. He hates, hates Mac Allen, I think. I mean, hate is a strong word, but Chris All definitely has a disdain for him. As now Mac Allen worked his way out of it, Irish whipping him. Oh, look at this. What a move. Oh, beautiful knee strike, cracking the jaw. Oh, moonsault off the middle rope. Human cannonball to the ribs. Wow, as Mac Allen, what a follow-up there on Chris All before Chris All kicks out after one. And now going for the arm, after going for the face and the ribs, Mac Allen, twisting and contorting the arm of Chris All, going after the shoulder. Chris All rolls to his feet. Oh, back elbow right there to the jaw. Oh, and the heavy strikes by the Phoenix, trying to go for a roll-up perhaps, but no. Chris Hall managed to dodge it by sheer dumb luck. Oh, and Seguri over the ropes. Mac Allen looked for it again. Oh, what a heck a runner through the ropes to the outside. Notice that I say beautifully a lot. I'll try to refrain from that because that can get pretty annoying if I keep doing it this show. So duly noted it. Oh, wow! A light drop right there off the top rope. Cover one, two. No. The follow up was superb. Excellent. And oh, wow! Mark Allen rolls up Chris Hall. One, two. No kick out at two. These two are so smooth in the ring, so coordinated. And they know each other so well. It is tough to pick a winner as a right. Destino connects on Mac Allen. Cover one, two, no kick out at two. So close, but yet so far for Chris Hall. As now Chris Hall, moonsault right there. And now picking him up. Shooting him into the corner. Here we go. Chris all dialing it up. Irish whipping Mac Allen to the opposite corner. No, Mac Allen countered. Oh, Chris all with a backflip out of the corner. Right in the ropes. And oh, Mac Allen dodged the clothesline. Oh, super kick to the gut. Here comes the X kick again. Tags him on the back of the head. Flooring Chris all to the morgue. Knee strike right to the head. The dome getting rocked as Mac Allen slices him up, tosses him into the corner, back elbow. I or snapmare, I was about to say Irish whip. Here comes a back elbow to the spinal cord off the middle rope. As Mac Allen. Oh, we tried Irish whip him into the corner again, but Chris all countered it, tossing him into the corner, but Mac Allen fighting out of the corner. Mac Allen, turn to the arm. Of Chris Hall. Drop kick to the knee. And Chris Hall almost did a cartwheel. And now a human cannonball. Again by Mac Allen. Who goes up. Looking high. Looking deep. And looking to take it all. Look at the punches. Take it. Look at it all the way. High risk. High reward. Oh, looking for her. Come run him again. Power bomb. By Chris Hall, he makes him pay. Mac Allen crashed and burned. Front flip, neck breaker to become the number one contender. Two, no. Mac Allen doesn't allow that mistake to cost him. Wow, but a critical opening for Chris Hall. A gift, if you will. As now, he is just wrenching the arm of Mac Allen. And drops the knees to the back there. As now, he's sizing him up. Looking to put him away. Here we comes. No. Mac Allen countered it. Oh! And a twisted corner. 
one screw take down one two no Mark Allen kicks out Wow As now Chris Hall once again punishing Mark Allen even further As now Mark Allen Boom getting his wrist wrenched again Chris Hall loves going to those moves. And to be honest, it's working for him. It's working for him. And so nice, he'll do it thrice or four times until Mac Allen makes some pain. Dodges the shoulder tackle in the corner. Mac Allen takes back control. Picks him up. Brain Buster there. Chris Hall just got laid out. And now a last chancery! Last chancery! It's locked in on Chris Hall! Oh, get down! Oh, get down! Oh, get down! Mac Allen will become number one contender for the NXT title! Will he? Can he? Make Chris Hall submit! Oh, no! Oh, Chris Hall worked his way out of it. Shot right there, but no. Mark Allen countered. Oh, he's got him. He's got his leg. He's got his leg. He's going to make him top right here in NXT. Right here. As Chris Hall fighting desperately to stay alive. Screaming in pain. As Mark Allen's got him in the Phoenix hold. The Phoenix hold. But no. Chris Hall got his to his feet, and a shot, right to the jaw, now Mac Allen kicks out before the count of one. Oh, Mac Allen countered, tying up his arm, he's going for no way, Chris Hall counters him, right there. Oh, spinning back fist, no, Chris Hall was countered, Mac Allen looking for the super kick, oh, both men realizing the other was about to attack. And managed to out-calculate the other, as now Mac Allen, ooh, bending the arm, getting a little retribution for earlier, stomp to the shoulder, and the bicep, or should I say the tricep, as now, oh, Mac Allen once again locking in another submission, trying to force him to quit, trying to force him to top. Once again, utilizing submissions as the match goes on, back elbow there. Mac Allen staggers back. I need no. Mac Allen turns it around, picks him up. Face plants are there. Cover to win the match. One, two, no. Mac Allen took him down with a leg takedown, I believe, to my recollection. As now, Mac Allen springboard, diving elbow, no. Oh, Chris all dodged it. No, wait. Mac Allen got to his feet. Drop kick to the knee again. Really trying to wear it down now. Ladies and gentlemen, all rise. Oh, as Mac Allen's got him. Trying to go after the legs. Trying to make him quit. Chris all is in so much pain. Desperately trying to stay alive. Will he survive? He will! Chris Hall got to his feet. Mac Allen running the ropes. Drop kick there attempt, but no. Chris Hall countered. Chris Hall countered. As he's got him. Front flip. Neck breaker right there. Picks up Mac Allen. Here it comes. Head butt there. Oh! Mac Allen with a kip up. Drop kick to the knee again. Mac Allen's opportunity has arrived. Picks him up. He's got him. Good check there. Bouncing off the ropes for the drive by drop kick. Got it. Chris Hall is in trouble. Here it comes. The Rainmaker. No. No. Chris Hall countered. Chris Hall countered to become number one contender. Skywalker.
So Chris Hall picks up the win and will move on to fight the NXT champion in NXT TakeOver. Hall celebrates and afterwards grabs the microphone and vows to win the NXT title at TakeOver before spinning on a fallen Mac Allen and then flips off the fans as he leaves. Following this next gen, Isaac Steele and Bundy are all in a room with several security guards and Mr. Samuel, of course. Steele and Bundy state that they're willing to accept the challenge and stipulation that Next Gen wants, but Next Gen needs to be willing to sacrifice something else. If Next Gen wins, then obviously Bundy and Steele's spot in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic goes to them, but if Steele and Bundy win, Next Gen will have to give up or will have to leave NXT if they want to stay a tag team. If they stay, they can never team up in NXT ever again. Ox looks concerned and looks to Jackson Wilkins and tries to tell Jackson that this might not be the best idea, but then Wilkins accepts and signs, saying that he'll teach the, these two young bloods a lesson. He also glares at Ox and says that he needs to get his uh, head in the game and sign the contract. Ox reluctantly signs and Bundy grins. Jackson states that he'll wipe that stupid smile off his face when Next Gen wins. And Bundy shakes his head, replying that Wilkins is in denial if he thinks they'll win. At NXT TakeOver, Next Gen will either leave NXT together or never be the same again. Bundy and Steele sign before Steele asks Mr. Samuel if the NXT title match is still good to go. Mr. Samuel confirms this, and Bundy and Steele leave, saying they got an NXT title match next. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you best believe it, because the trilogy is ending tonight. Steele versus Ryan Schrapp, next. Addictions, why won't you let me out? I need a way to separate it. But I promise you that I'll make sure you never forget me. Now that you want it, now that you need it, I'm too far gone. You're trying to play there, but I'm not breaking. I'm killing.
so twisted that it's freaking me out. Just in eyes, it's so, ladies and gentlemen, the trilogy will happen tonight for the NXT title. For the third time, these two men clash for the NXT Championship. The winner will be decided right now of this feud. As Bundy is in the corner of Isaac Steele, who took the title from Ryan Trapp earlier this season, only for Trapp to eventually take it back in their second confrontation. And now we're on their third. This time with the element of Bundy by the side of Steve. So Mac and Allen, Chris Hall fought earlier. And it turns out Chris Hall will fight the winner of this match. So these two lock up again. And lock attempt by Ryan Trapp, the representative of the dynasty. It's stuck in headlock. Ooh, taken down there. So Isaac Steele debuted and took the NXT title. It's got to burn Ryan Trapp a bit as there's a hip toss right there. Looking for a kick to the face. Oh, as Ryan Trapp was blocked and Steele takes him down with a shot to the leg. And now Steve picking him up, tossing him down. Third kick to the back, but no. Trap counters, crucifix, roll up, cover. One, two, no. Kick out of two. No drop kick right there to the face. Kick to the back, no. Isaac Steele countered it. Steve, Irish whipping him out of the ring. Now Steele for a stomp to the leg. Trap though counters. Shots right there. Trap counters him. Irish whipping him back inside the ring. Going to the top rope. Here we go, Ryan. Oh, and he clips right there. Lands. One. No kick out at one. Solid kick to the back there. So wait, he's got him at. In a cross face! In a cross face! He's now trying to wear him down with submissions, but oh, he can only keep him down for so long. As Steve got him up on his shoulders. Ooh! Oh, what a one two combination! For biting the hand of Ryan Trapp, that is disgusting! So Wade slaps it down! He's got him! The same move that allowed him to take the NXT title! They had that kind of fights! And oh, Trap fended it off. And oh, German suplex one! Kick out at one. Ooh. Shots the lower back. For flexing on the world. Moving him into the corner. Picking him up. Oh, trap. Here it comes. Kick to the ribs. Got him up on his shoulders. Out of the corner. Got Buster right there. And now trap goes up to the top. Robo. Frog splash. Right there. Down on the steel. Cover. One. Two. Kick out in two. Ooh! Looked like Trap. Unfortunately, couldn't land it as he got hit with an elbow to the gun. Northern Light Suplex. Looking for a brain buster. Here it comes. No. Trap countered in. Oh, he swung him up to retain. One. Two. No kick out at two. And now, oh, half Nelson into a backbreaker. Running the ropes a second time. Stomp right there. Look at Bundy sliding in a chair. Ooh, stop right there again. It's now Ryan Trapp wearing down steel with a headlock. Potentially a distraction for the referee when he notices that chair. 
It's Ryan Shroud. Drops it down. Wade, no steal. Sweeps the legs. Wade, look at Bundy. Distracting the referee. Bundy's distracting the referee. Ref! Ref! Oh! A chair shot right there! Ref! How did you not put two and two together? He had the chair in hand! He didn't get rid of the evidence yet! And Steele's got him off! Oh, wait, Ryan Steele manages to escape! Super cash right there! Raw! Bill! No! Wow, as Ryan got hit with a steel chair and had the wherewithal to stay alive! Bond kick right there! And wait, Bundy's distracting the referee! Bundy's distracting the referee! How despicable! How much of a douchebag do you have to be? Try to help your partner with To be fair, I understand, but still, all oh, the middle fingers to Ryan Trap one. No, not even a one counts. As Bundy, how disgusting! Interfering with this match in a lot of ways now, trying to ensure that Steel gets that strap around his waist for the second time in his career. As now, Ryan Trapple went after him, but still managed to do a backflip, ran the ropes, but got caught by Ryan Trapp. That's Trapp now. Oh, electric chair, hook, a run out, cover, one, two, kick out at two. As Ryan sizes him up, tosses him into the corner. Oh, Wade still trying to get his knees up, but oh, trap with a kick to the face. He's now on the outside, going to the top turn, Michael. Here we go. Wait, oh, still got him with a high knee. Oh, here comes Rana off the top rope. Cover. Whoa. No one in half. There's now Steve driving the knees into the shoulder. Of Ryan Trapp. Slowing down the pace to his liking as he picks him up. Running power slam. The pure power of Isaac Steele. As oh, he brings him into a triangle armbar here. A triangle armbar. Trying to make Ryan tap. And no, oh, Ryan friends it off. Picks him up. Power bomb there. At least a weak attempt of a powerbomb. It's enough to break the hold. Super kick a second time in the match. And he'll stomp right there to steal. Kick to the chest. Bouncing up the ropes. Oh, wait, Bundy. Again with some interference. Are you kidding me? Ref, how do you not eject him? Seriously. As Steele is busted open, he's bleeding badly as there's a chop right there. Two in a row to Steele. Looking for a third, but no. Steele's got him. And a got a voice for the second time. Took the attention away from him. Allowed himself to recover. As now Steele trying to make him quick. But Ryan Trapp brought the knees up to fend off Steele. Forearm right there. Oh, look at this. Steel sitting down to the ropes, running the ropes. Oh, knee to the jaw right there. As Isaac Steele just got his lights put out there. Iris whipping him against the ropes. Looking for a bicycle boot right there. Missed it. Isaac Steele going to take advantage. Twirl the world TDT. As now Steve locks in a headlock with his legs. Trying to make him tap. Or just trying to wear him out. He flips him over again. Ryan, though, fending it off, taking the shots at the hips and the thighs. Managed to be free. Dunking it, but no, he's a clothesline instead by Steve. Still deciding where he's going to go as he looks to put him away. No, Wayne Ryan trap. Step up in Seguri on the top rope. As now he dumps him to the outside with a push. As now trapping insane. Hell no! 
shot right there, taking him down. It's now Steve, boot right there, bringing Ryan inside the ring. Oh, wait, Ryan. Oh, Ryan rolled out of the ring. Got out of arm's weight. Eyes up the boot of Steel. Oh, but Steel launches him off the edge of the apron. Steel had it well scouted. So he looks to fly. Oh, man. Action. Oh, no. Ryan Trapp. Oh, wait on the edge of the apron. Oh, my gosh. What a dive. As he just did an inverted move. I have no idea what it was, but he landed down upon Steel. As now Ryan Springboard. Oh, into the RKO! RKO! What a cutter! Flicking off the audience! Rolling him over! Cover! One! Two! Down! A near fall for Ryan, or, or for Isaac Steel. As he almost put Ryan Trap away. Forearm there. Knee to the ribs. Oh, looking for the drop kick, but no. Ryan sides in a muck and any destroyer. Wayne no steel countered it. Steel. Oh, uh, having a spaz attack. Super kick right there. Springboard cannonball there. Oh, diving elbow. Right on to Ryan Trap. As now steel. Up the middle rope, body splash there. Now going up for some even more outside. Moots, oh no! Ryan blocked it! Ryan blocked it! Picks him up! What a suplex right there! So oh, wait, Bundy, again! And oh wait, steal with a give up! Steal with a give, give up! Crucifix roll up! One! Two! As Bundy yet again interfering with this match. Kick right there. It was shining wizard. Dropping down. Ryan Trapper now. Steel's got him up. Oh, the brutal knee. Flipping off this audience again. Cover. One. Two. Now Ryan stays alive again. The wherewithal, the heart, the determination of the champion. As we's got him in submission. Locking it in. Trying to make him tap. Trying to make him quit. Will he make trap tap in the ring? As Ryan bended it off. Got his arm grabbed, but no. Lands a forearm to the last. Serration RKO! RKO to steal! No! Bundy is there again! Bundy is there again! As now, Trap slicing up Steel! No oh, wait, Steel fends it off! Here it comes! He's got him up! Knee shot to the jaw again! Trap has been busted open! One! Two! No! So close, but yet so far, as now Trap sweeps the legs. As he is building momentum, feeling it now, feeling the energy of the crowd. As he is now sizing up steam. Take down once. Oh wait, Trap is countered back, body dropped by Steve. Now Steve, picking him up. Shot right there into the corner. Backing him up. Trap is in a precarious situation. As Steele gonna go for it a second time, but no way. Trap blocked it. Oh, the leaping punch was caught. Steele biting the hand of Ryan Trap. Bouncing into a ball, oh, cannonball. And now Steele springboard shooting. Star press right there! Now a knee to the face. Go for it a second time, another knee. Trying to break him. 
Mind, body, and soul. As now Trap looking to put him away. Looking to potentially end the match right here. Here it comes in no way. Trap counted it. Trap counted it. RKO! RKO! Cover one! Two! No! As both men are bleeding furiously. In a way, Bundy is distracting Trap! Bundy is distracting Ryan Trap! Turning his attention away from trying the punt kick. Oh! Trap, tell them to suck it! Tell them to suck it! Before he got laid out by Steele and oh, folded him like a lawn chair. One, two, no. You know, wait, the referee ejected Bundy. He's had enough. He's had enough of the interference. Bundy has just been ejected. Finally, one on one. Moon salt right there by Steele. As now, Isaac Steele. Looking to put him away. Looking to go for the end. No more shenanigans. It's over. Oh, a second moonsault right there. No way. Trap has the wherewithal to counter and take him down. As now the kick strikes by Ryan Trap were blocked. And now Steele clothesline wants. Labored blows as the blood is flowing from both men's lacerated foreheads. This is brutal as they are taxing each other now. Ryan just got laid out. And now Steele looking to finish him off. Here it comes. Oh, wait, trap. Russian leg sweep right there. Picking him up, here it comes, the power bomb, no! Steel countered him, shot right there, shot again, third time, at Sandal right there. And now, Steel, turning the leg once, twice, three times, four times, five times! Wow. Is there a way traveling came up? Bringing down Steel! Off the top rope denying him. As here comes the punt kick. Here it comes! No way! Trap missed it! Bundy, or er, sorry. Uh, Steel. It is back and forth now as oh wait, Steel's gone rotating! Power bomb by Trap to retain one! Two! No! So close to retaining the title is now. Now he's going to go for the punt kick once again. Oh, but Steele getting to his feet. RKO! A third time! Ladies and gentlemen, here it comes! Punt kick one more time! No! Steele dodged it! Here it comes! Sides him up. Oh! Caught him there! One! Two! Trap kicks out again! The rain stays alive! The middle fingers! Here it comes! Steel! Sizing him up! Shoot him in the corner! Stunner! Lands! And now, Steel has got him right where he wants him! Oh, the moonsault lands beautifully right there! Cover! One! Two! No! He let go of it! He let go of it! Instead, he wants a brutal end! A vicious end! Here it comes! No! Trap counter! Trap kick to the knee! Ryan sizing him up! Here it comes! Punt kick lands! Cover to retain! Four! Two! Three!
Trap celebrates, but out comes Chris Hall, who gets in the ring and spits at Trap. Trap flips him off before holding up the NXT title belt. Hall vows that he's that it's gonna be his turn and insults the fans that he'll be a king above all the fat o beef surfs in the crowd before leaving. And then afterwards, Ty Noble comes out. And here's a little bit of shenanigans because we haven't had much build. Ty Noble says that he hasn't spoken to Paul Heyman or the bloodline. He looked inward and tried to get his head in the right place. At NXT TakeOver, he's going to live up to his nickname. The Standard Bearer. He has to be willing to give the belt or defend the belt against anyone and everyone. Just then, High Society comes out and Perez states that he's spoken with Mr. Samuel and is promised to be added to the match, along with Devin Walker, because they beat Dax Devonair. Last takeover in the tag match. High Society will strike gold at takeover. Before Noble replies, Dax Devonair comes out with a massive soapbox in his hands. He walks past the High Society members, completely gaffing them, gets in the ring, and stands on his soapbox. He pulls out a microphone, and then proclaims that he's been added to the match as well, because he's actually won Championship Gold in this series, and stares at the faction. He points out that while Perez is playing a Saturday night sitcom drama, Dax is out here because... He he is the mo or Dax is becoming the most or the most must see attraction in NXT. He doesn't need to be a chiseled buff guy, a young kid with a cool haircut, or have intriguing drama. What he needs is a microphone, a soapbox, and a ring. At NXT Takeover, Noble will be humbled for a change. Perez will learn he's only good at beating up family members, and Perez. Oh, and Devin Walker will learn that he doesn't just screw up in the bed with Alice, but also in the ring. Devin glares at Dax, and he mouths the words, I pinned you, though. And Dax shrugs his shoulders with a smile and says he's got to throw some kind of gas on this fight because there's been no hype whatsoever before TakeOver. Perez says that he'll beat the fat, overweight hillbilly back to the sticks of the South, where he came from. And Dax... Readjusts his, readjusts his shades, raises an eyebrow, and looks over at Perez and says that he's actually from Kansas. Noble interrupts and says that it doesn't matter who you are or where you came from, everyone will bow to the greatest champion ever. Dax looks down and quite literally just lazily throws the microphone as light as possible into the chest of Noble and it just glances off of him and they all and they both just stare at the microphone on the ground. Noble then asks if that's if that if that was it, and and Dax just shrugs his shoulders and says, "Well, n no, I I had a plan B," and slaps the hell out of Noble. Noble staggers back, and Dax leaps off the soapbox onto him. As everybody else gets in the ring, security pours down as a brawl starts. Security starts pulling everybody apart as we go to commercial. <laughs> Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, the main event, the NXT women's title is on the line. Dakota Kai defends it against Olivia Falcon and Kyrie Sane next. So here we go. The main event, the NXT women's championship match, the champion Dakota Kai in the pink. Defending her title against Olivia Falcon and Kyrie Sane. Sane using her rematch clause. Olivia Falcon tried a little bit of an interesting tactic interviewing. We're trying to interview Dakota Kai and alluding to challenging her. And Dakota Kai basically said all you had to do was ask. So Dakota Kai decided to take on both women tonight. First pinfall or submission wins as she clotheslines Kyrie Sane out of the ring. You don't have to be the champion to be pinned. Regardless, the challengers for takeover against Kai if she retains are as follows. Ronda Rousey, Alice York, and Angel of high society. The women are stacking up the competition on Dakota Kai. The longest reigning NXT Women's Champion of all time. About at 60 episodes roughly. As a champion, four time women's champion. So, oh, there's a boot to the face of Olivia Falcon. 
Causing her to roll out of the ring, and now Kyrie Sane is there dropping down the champion. The knee to the face. Stomping away now. But good changes to Kota Kai working her way to her feet. Fending off Kyrie Sane. No Sane countered it. And oh, Olivia Falcon tried to get in on the action, but was denied. Passport revoked. So now the elbows. Once again, a little bit of a miscommunication. Ooh, a body splash taking out Kyrie Sane and Dakota Kai is going to take advantage. Now Dakota Kai, four on to the face in the corner. Main event of NXT. We are just one episode away from NXT TakeOver 53. Two episodes away from the road to WrestleMania beginning. I'm excited. The shot's right there. Ooh! Quick hands by Olivia Falcon. Second match of her career. In Universe Mode as she picks up Kyrie St. Drives her down to the canvas. Wait, what is this? Uh, Kinshasa? No! <laughs> Dakota Kai added well scouted. Now Dakota Kai looking to take out Olivia Falcon, but instead Sane looking to take advantage and score the pinfall victory, but no. The champion was right there. Snap suplex to Kyrie Sane, and now the Kyra Practor lands on Olivia Falcon! Cover to put her away! One, two, no, saved by Kyrie Sane. So there's a shot right there. Whipping her to go to Kai baseball slider. Karana. What an execution! So now Kyrie Sane off the top rope. Oh, or sorry, Dakota Kai. You. That's a bad mishap by me, but it was blocked by Olivia Falcon who picks her up, suplex right there. Is now Olivia Falcon. Falcon dialing it up, tossing her to the corner. Here it comes. Irish whipping to go to Kai. No Kai counter. Everybody's trying this tonight. As now Olivia Falcon is the first one to succeed tonight. And she takes out Dakota Kai. Pinball attempt by Sane, who is denied. As Falcon now. Oh, gets caught in the headlock. Stunner right there. Wiping her out. Kyrie Sane picking her up. Irish whipping Falcon into the corner. No. Elbow to the face. Oh, crossbody takedown. It's now Falcon off the top. Oh, a bionic elbow there. Wiping out Kyrie Sane. And Olivia Falcon wipes her out. So now Dakota Kai getting involved. As she has recovered. Irish whipping Sane into the, into the ring. Cover. One. Two. Kick out of two. Solid kick to the back. Drop kick right there by Livia Falcon as Dakota Kai goes down but doesn't roll out. As now Sane has got Falcon up in the fireman's carry. Snake Eyes in the top rope. As now Dakota Kai running the ropes. Kai rope wrapped him again. Cover to retain. One, two, no kick out at two. Sane keeps the match alive, and now an ankle lock on Olivia Falcon. The pressure building for Falcon. The pain has got to be shooting through her whole leg, through her whole body. But no, boots the face, working her way out of it. Sane just being a spectator now. Oh, wow, sunset flip power bomb by Olivia Falcon. She goes underneath the ring while Sane takes advantage one. No kick out at one and a half. Kick to the back. Kai getting to her feet. 
Looking for a kick again, but no. Zane blocked it. Spinning back fist there. Rolling it over into a cover. One, two. Falcon broke it up. No, Zane missed the takedown shot. Oh, Falcon sends her out of the ring. And now Falcon covering Dakota Kai. One, one and a half. First shot to the back, no. Dakota Kai, pop up neck breaker there. And oh, a one-legged boot to the face. Oh, the double boot stop by Dakota Kai. Oh, but Falcon took her down. And oh, wait, Dakota Kai. Fends it off. Ira whipping Olivia Falcon. Here we go. No Falcon blocking her. Picking her up for a body slam. No. Dakota Kai floats over. And oh, a German suplex by Dakota Kai. One, two. Kick out at two. Oh, wait. Kyrie Sane drives her into the canvas. And oh, wait. Olivia Falcon crawling into the cover. What? No, one and a half. Dakota Kai stays alive. Now Falcon. Got caught, er, no, Sane, I was about to say caught. Sane in a headlock, but no, Sane counted it. Alabama slam! And knife edge chop by Sane to Kai. Now she's got him in a classy grab of sorts. It might be called the anchor, from what I remember. As all, Dakota Kai friends it off. Oh, there's a forearm there. Sane got twisted around. No, Sane. Getting a running start, but no. Kai counter. Kai holding her chest, though. I think something gave out. Her body saying, I quit, perhaps. Despite Kai trying to fire on all cylinders to preserve her reign. To extend her legacy even further. As the referee just got wiped out. The referee got wiped out. German suplex attempt. Shot right there. By Olivia Falcon. Falcon with a shot to Sane. And now Falcon pump handle. Gut buster there. And so Falcon. Ooh. Gets counter there. Sane. Rolled out of the ring as Sky rolls out. Falcon one. Bill. No. So close as Sky now. Irish whipping Falcon. Here it comes. No way he missed it. Oh, Irish whipping her one more time. You know, at first you don't succeed. Try and try again as there's a hurricane run after the baseball slide. And now Dakota Kai. Lighting up Falcon. Here we go. Dakota Kai running the ropes. Team kick with the boot to the face. And now Sane in the ring. Here we go. Rose up Sane to retain one, two. No! As Falcon rolls to her feet. Look for the drop kick. No. Falcon turns her attention to save Guillotine. Guillotine, no. Falcon got it broken up. And now Dakota Kai taking advantage. Cairo brought her right there. Wipes her out. And now turning her attention to Kyrie Zane. Can she? Will she? Run to the ropes. Cairo Proctor there as well to retain. One, two, three. She's done it. Dakota Kai retains her title. Kai celebrates, but out comes Ronda Rousey, Alice York, and Angel, who stare down the champion. Kai raises the belt as it cuts away backstage the parking lot because Cole Quinn has come to the building and heads to the ring with Baron Blade. He stands in the ring and says that he's been attacked for a while now along with Baron Blade. Cole apologizes though to Will Madison and says that he shouldn't have abandoned him. He says that he's sorry and wants to team up to help find the attacker. Madison interrupts and gets in the ring and stares down Cole Quinn before simply saying that he's not forgiven. Go play ball on SmackDown for the Intercontinental title at the Royal Rumble. But if 
Will scratches Cole Quinn's back to help him. And in return, Cole stabs Will's back. Then Will's not going to help. Quinn is on his own. Not just with Christian and the Coalition, but with his attacker. Before leaving Cole Quinn in the ring with Baron Blade. Cole yells for Will to come back, but he ignores him and goes all the way to the back. Doesn't even look back at him. Cole Quinn becomes, a, uh, not angry, enraged and demands that the attacker comes out and reveals themselves. Just then... The lights go out, and a beam of light comes down to the center of the ring to reveal R.J. Taylor holding his book to his chest. He stares at Cole Quinn and Baron Blade, but Cole surges forward to attack, but the lights go out again. Cole yells into the microphone while the lights are out, saying that R.J. is all smoke and mirrors. There's nothing special about him. And when the lights come back on, Baron Blade is gone along with R.J. Taylor. On the big screen, the text reads, If you want Blade returned to you, then face the Margrave at NXT TakeOver. Cole looks a bit concerned, but agrees to the match, vowing to bury R.J. there. Just then, the lights begin to flicker like crazy. It's like spastic. And then, they go out. The beam of light shines down once more, but it's on Cole Quinn in the center of the ring. And the text on the Titantron reads one word. Sacrifice. As the show comes to an end. So we gear up for the pay-per-views. NXT TakeOver 53 and the Royal Rumble. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed.